Okay guys, um, well this is my first tutorial for YouTube. Uh, I've been working with After Effects for a while and uh, but I haven't really posted a tutorial so this is my first tutorial to you guys. Um, and um, yeah so I'm gonna show you how to make a Cinema 4D 3D text uh, like this and uh, integrate it with some movement into uh, After Effects. Uh, hope you enjoy the tutorial. You know, get some good ideas out of it. Uh, so let's get started. All right, we're gonna start off here. We're gonna go to uh, new. We're gonna create a new video thing, whole new video. Uh, you're gonna go to MoGraph. Uh, we're gonna click text object. Uh, we're going to come down to te the text, type in the text, so it's uh, M-A-D-D-A-W-G-T-U-T-C-O-M. Alright, so we got that. Drops out like that. I'm going to pull it into the middle right here. Alright, and then uh, for the font, I'm going to have it in the description for the description for download. It's called Unreal. Take off the caps. Unreal. All. Uh, now unreal there it is alright there you go we got our text that's what it looks like so far alright now what we're going to be doing is uh, let's uh, command uh, I'm on a Mac so command C and then V for copy and paste and we have this text and we're going to uh, move it out just a little bit from the other text just a little bit just like that all right now <clears throat> what you want to now what you're gonna want to do uh, is create a new material so we'll create that new material double click on it uh, we're gonna change the color to a little bit darker uh, and we're going to come down here to a reflection. We're going to move it down to about 15%. Alright, so it's like that. Uh, specular, specular color. Doesn't really matter. We'll move this down just a little darker as well. And we'll go to specular. Stick this up like this. Get those settings. Alright. Uh, this isn't going to be exactly like the one I made, but it's going to be close to it. Um, I'm just showing you how to make this. I'm going to use my uh, already rendered video, but I'm showing you how to go through Cinema 4D. Uh, before we add that, we're, uh, let's just add the, ne la the next two things, which is... Uh, where, where is it? Uh, camera. Uh, we're gonna click this button right here so your thing is locked on to the camera whatever you're looking through the camera's view alright alright so um, I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera settings and save settings real quick uh, follow along so it's I'm gonna go to here I'm gonna go to film and video uh, where is it uh, let's see. Here it is, HDV, HDTV, 720. Uh, so it's like that. See how it changed. Um, we're gonna turn this up a lot, but we we'll, won't. We're not gonna worry about that for right now. We're gonna go down to save. We're gonna change this to QuickTime Movie format to QuickTime Movie. I'm gonna set a path. I'll choose my desktop. Uh, save it as uh, Halloween clouds or whatever. Uh, oh, just clouds. All right, so save. It's gonna save to the desktop, and then what you're gonna want to do is go to uh, compositing file, save. Make sure it's on After Effects. Include 3D data. And uh, and uh, now 
what you're going to want to do is drag this out onto the top layer that we moved out just a little bit. So now we got the on. All right, sorry, wrong layer. Uh, bottom layer. There we go. There goes the bottom layer and everything. It looks all like it did.